What up, Smart Rapper? Today we're going to talk about one simple, easy trick to make your vocals cleaner on any song that you're currently working on in any digital audio workstation. Pro Tools, Logic, anything that you're working on, Cakewalk, you know, uh, Cubase, whatever you're in, I'm going to show you how to do that. And this is for beginners. So if you're already like, oh, I already know all this stuff, this is a very simple video. And I'm basically just going to show people EQ. And if you want to learn a little bit more about that, uh, we'll stick around. And I'm going to show you after the intro. The fear in the eyes from other rappers who be rapping just to tell us a lie. Okay, now is what I'm going to show you is pretty much the EQ ranges and how they work. I'm just gonna give you a basic outline of these because I know a lot of you are rappers, you're not engineers, but if you wanna learn how to mix your own music, you're gonna need to know this type of stuff to at least get a decent mix out the door. I personally mix a couple of my projects when I uh, couldn't afford to pay somebody the amount of money that it was going to cost. And I know it's gonna be like that for a lot of you too. And even having a basic understanding of how this stuff works is gonna help you a lot because you'll be able to tell the engineer, hey, maybe uh, a little more here, or maybe make it pop a little more here with this, right? So first, let's talk about this real quick, okay? This is the EQ, the ranges of it, okay? Actually, I'll come back to this. So this is what's happening here. This is an EQ. There's numerous kinds of EQs uh, that you'll be able to choose from. And you'll see here, right? You get, you get the low end, starting down here, it's the low end, and then it goes all the way up to the high end. All right. Now, how this works is, and this always was confusing at first when you're first learning it, but in the low end, it's bass years, bass years, bass years. And the further you go up here, uh, the more clarity there is. Okay. So it's the lows all the way up to the highs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a track from uh, one of my, my 2013 mixtape because I just had like a backup of it. And I'm going to show you how it sounds without. Uh, you know, w with it, the way it sounds here. And then I'm gonna show you what happens when I crank each one up. It, this way you can get an example and an understanding of how it works. And you're gonna see that when you rate, uh, change it in this area from like around 2K to around 5K, it's gonna give you clarity. Okay, now I can go to this chart right here and show you that, all right? So if you look at it, 16 to 60 Hertz, we'll do this here, right? So this is 31, this is 125. So around here, it's gonna give you a sense of power, it's gonna give you the bass, and all the way up to 250, it's still bass. Everything under a K, it's still very bass heavy. And when you get in the middle here, around the 2 to 4K, that's the high mids, and then the 4 to 6 is the presence. And that's why you can see here, it's raised up here around 5K, right? And also a little bit here, and you test the levels. But this is what's giving my vocal clarity. And I'm gonna show you now. We're gonna listen to it, all right? Now I make ease, easy met, max freeze. All at once I tap free, swinging freaks like trapeze. It's no obstacle to be a philosophical. Toxic, topical, paradoxical, possible, trust every tops to you. What you gotta say now? I done did it, little homie, ain't nobody. Right, okay, I just wanted you to hear that because that's how that sounds as a full thing. Now, if I were to bypass this, now we're gonna do the back and forth, okay? So let's let's focus on the part where there's no beat, so there's no confusion, okay? It's no obstacle to be a philosophical. Toxic, topical, paradoxical, possible, trust every tops to what you boom. gotta say now. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is you hear that, how that sounds. Now, if I turn this off, how's it sound? It's no obstacle to be a philosophical, toxic, topical. Sounds a little flat, right? Now, let me just show you this, so, because I don't want this to be too long for you guys. All right, let's say that I, I flatten all this shit out. Okay, or, or actually, watch this. Watch it as it's playing. If I add clarity to it, watch what happens. Whoops. It's no obstacle to be a philosophical. Toxic, topical, paradoxical, possible, trust every top speed. You hear how like super over, like super, super clear it gets. Now watch if I lower the, the low end, it'll sound really bassy, okay? So let's go ahead and flatten this out a little bit. Okay. Um, I'll pull this back and then watch when I raise this as it's playing. Please, it's no obstacle to be a philosophical. Toxic, topical, Base. paradoxical, possible, trust every- Daniel can't hear it, it's just super muddy. If you, and, and that even says this here, right? If you add too much of it, it's gonna make it sound muddy. And muddy is when it's just all like, uh, it's all like too combined. Like a lot of uh, really low quality uh, rap songs will have that. And then if you, that's why you wanna do here. So the secret is if you wanna turn it up, you do it at about here. Watch, let's do it again. We'll put it flat and I'll play it and you'll hear it get more quality. Please, it's no obstacle to be a philosophical. Toxic, topical, paradoxical, possible, trust every tops to you. What you gotta say now? I done did it, little homie. Ain't nobody else did it from me. What you gotta say now? Excellent. Well, that's pretty much it. You pretty much just need to raise it around 5K. Now, as far as the plugins, every basic type or all the way up to high level, every single one of these softwares that you're possibly going to use is going to have an EQ. I hope that helps you understand this. Let's jump back into the video. 
Yeah, it's really that easy. All you need to do is just learn how the EQ works. I remember when I first read uh, the how to record music for dummies, which I read like five times. I It was for dummies, and I was a dummy at the time for, as far as music went. And I didn't understand the book at all. And then there was this moment where I remember I studied like the equalizer graphs, and then the moment when I understood what the equalizer was, I was like, that's what the book was talking about the whole time. I, was like, I didn't get it, even though like it showed you it, and it was like, I was like, I don't even, it was just wasn't broken down enough. And this video is for people that want to understand, you know, like what that is. So I'm just going to show you how an equalizer works and I did that, right? So I'm Rob Level. Please hit me with a subscribe and hit that bell after you hit the subscribe so that you get notified every time I release a video so you become a smarter rapper every day. Please hit me with a comment and please hit me with a like. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another smart rapper video. All right, here's some more right now.